Welcome back to Frost Fate Tales 2022. I am Nicole Goodnight, and I will be your host for the rest of this night. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night wherever you are. I'm here to tell you about some super cool Hades incentives we've got right now. Chat. Dogs are great. Petting dogs. Even better. For every $500 towards the pet Cerberus and Hades incentive we have... We will pet the dog. We'll do it. Right now we are at 2037, which is four whole pets for the good, good lad. We will keep doing this up to a max of 30 pets. And if we hit a milestone incentive of $127,226.40, we will do Extreme Measures 4 on the third weapon run. Well, what does that mean, you might add? Well, at means it'll be significantly harder, which is always for a fun viewing experience. So let's get those donations in towards Pet the Dog and Pet us a good boy. If you want, go ahead and let's do a $5 donation train. Tell me your, your good pup's name and we'll pet the pup and pet the pup for your pup too, virtually. It'll be great. And with that all in mind, we are actually already ready for Hades, three weapons unmodded for the PC with Arcalena. All right, hello everyone. I'm sorry. I'm Mark Elena. This is going to be Hades on modded three weapons. I've got a uh, Mads Brutal here with me on commentary. You'd like to introduce yourself, Mads? Yeah. Hey everyone. I'm Mads Brutal. I go by Mads. It's fine. I'm super pumped to uh, bring you some Hades tonight. We have a cool run, and one of the community's best runners uh, going to be going to be running it. So it should be a lot of fun. Before we get started, we did have three pets, I believe, for Cerberus. We actually have four now. Four? Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh, perfect. Let's go. So here's our best boy, One Cerberus. One of the frightful maws of Cerberus busily grooms the other two. Well, take care. In the lore, only the, the head on the right actually likes pets. You see the one on the left, like, snaps at us sometimes. That's one. Pets. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell of it, right, boy? Three pets. And one more for good luck. There we go. Keep the donations coming. Uh, we can be pet Cerberus all night. He's a good boy. He deserves all the pets. Essentially 26 more pets. <laughs> So we're gonna head over to the courtyard. Just make sure my mirror is correct. Here is the mirror of night, which has like the the meta upgrades in Hades. Where you make your character's aggro stronger. So if you want to explain what Hades yeah. is all about, Mads? Yeah, for sure. So we're going to be uh, escaping hell as Zagreus. We're going to be going through uh, four different biomes that have a fixed number of chambers. Battling our way, it's a roguelite, so there'll be a lot of randomness involved. Uh, so we'll be trying to explain uh, all the what Arclane will be looking for, how she's going to be putting her builds together. Um, and this is three weapons. So we're actually going to be escaping hell three times in a row uh, with three different weapons. And you're starting out on the Adamant Rail, right? Correct. All right. All right. So here's the pack setup that we're going to be using. And time will begin in five, four, three, two, one, go. All Let's right. Good work. luck. So right off the bat, she's be, you will be using the aspect of Eris uh, on the Adamant Rail. And the main kind of gimmick with the Eris Rail is you'll see that she just did this lobbying kind of missile that goes in the air, this bomb. If she lands in, the, if the bomb lands on top of her for the next four seconds, she gets a 75% damage boost, which is quite good. Uh, it's a lot of damage. So she's going to be trying to keep that boost up as much as possible. And she also uh, forced the first god that she saw to be Zeus. Uh, you'll see when she shoots, there's kind of electric bolts that come off of her attack. Um, that is Zeus's attack. Uh, it gives us some good AoE and some good damage. 
and um, we're going to be looking for build-wise. Uh, namely, we're going to be wanting to see in Poseidon and more, um, more Zeus. And we'll try to explain how that, uh, what she's looking for when she gets to them. But first, she's already coming up on her first hammer. Hey, and it's a fountain. How about that? So this is a free room. And what, uh, what hammer did you just get there? I just got Rocket Bomb. Okay. The ideal hammer for Eris. So, Rocket Bomb. So hammers are really important. They change how your weapon functions uh, in some capacity. So you'll notice that when she uses her special, it's no longer the lobbying shot that it was. It's a straight line of blast that it, it does more damage and it explodes really quickly. Uh, we really like to see that. It is half of a really powerful combination when we get our second hammer. Um, she's also just kind of cruising through these chambers. You saw earlier that she got a free room, as we call it, a fountain chamber, which um, the, there's fixed amount of chambers in every biome. So, ooh, and we got inside. So the ones that we don't have to do combat in, we love seeing those, they're fast, they're good. Um, we're gonna be trying to get Tidal Dash here from Poseidon, and if we do, we'll have our build yeah, looking really nice. Yeah, so she basically has turned her, her gun into a melee weapon with both the rockets that she's gonna be trying to fire at close range to keep her boost up, and Poseidon's Tidal Dash, which does AOE damage and a lot of it, especially if she gets some pomegranates into it as she goes along. Yeah, you can see the power of the Zeus attack. The Tidal Dash is kind of cleaning up these tiny enemies really easily in Tartarus here. Um, and it's kind of funny that you have a, a trippy shot from Dionysus, so we still kind of do have a lobby, lobby shot coming in. So if uh, you see that kind of lobby shot, that's her cast um, instead of her special. All right, and we're already coming up to the end of Tartarus and our first boss, the Furies, which she's probably going to dispatch pretty quickly. Oh, hello. Um, so, up for there's three so different. There's, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Okay. So there's three different uh, versions of this boss. You might have seen that there were two other Furies behind Megara, the two sisters. Um, so there's one boss fight for each sister. Agra is usually the easiest slash quickest. It's a bit too difficult. I say it's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> there we go. Pretty nice Tartarus nonetheless. Okay, so in between biomes, nice we're going to go into the Asphodel, but you can change your keepsake. What keepsake are you thinking of changing to here? I'm going to go for Artemis for getting some crit potential on our rocket bomb. Nice. So yeah, when going. we can, we can change our keepsake Maybe to essentially switch. force a god to appear. Um, we, normally you only get four gods in your god pool. So if four gods are offered, you take a boon from them. Normally only those four appear for the rest of the run. Uh, so we're constantly aware of which gods are in our god pool. And we currently do have four, but if we take the uh, a keepsake for another god, we can force a fifth god into our god pool. Um, so she wants Artemis on her special. Uh, which the big benefit is you get crits, and crits are three times multipliers, so they're really powerful. Like none of these. Hermes is uh, okay, one of the most yeah, important gods that we can see. He doesn't count towards now. the god pool, but he uh, has some powerful augmentations that can make us faster, do more damage, and the one that she took there was plus one dash, which is, ah, it's all right, it's better than nothing, um, but one of the things that you really have to be aware of in this category is um, kind of making your decisions quickly. You don't want to be too, spending too many time, too much time in menus, rolling, things like that. Um, you can kind of make your decision and go. And sometimes the game doesn't give you necessarily the most ideal thing. Nice. Um, got anything else? Ooh, all right. So this is the reason why we wanted to get uh, another, another Zeus. We really wanted to see uh, Stack Discharge. So she now has a status effect that happens whenever she shoots anyone with her electric uh, Zeus boons on her attack, that they take damage when they attack. And it's a, it's a really big number, and that number goes up quite large when you apply pomegranates, which, have we even seen too many pomegranates? Um, I believe we've seen yeah, we two. Have, yeah, we have a level three title dash, so we've seen a couple. Um, pomegranates that just make boons stronger, essentially. They uh, increase the effectiveness of one of our boons. 
in the name of Hades. Right. More Zeus is always good. Zeus has got a lot of good things for us on this build. And in Asphodel, you have to really kind of contend with these enormous rooms. Sometimes enemies get, get spread out, and this is one of the most egregious tiles for that. But cleared really nicely, moves through there. Um, take the Zeus aid, so now we have a call. Zeus's call is probably the best call that we can take if we don't take uh, Hades. Might even be better, I suppose. I the codes. And wow, we're already onto our second boss. We're schmoovin'. I'm back, but I need to kill you once again. So here at the second boss, um, Lerny the Bone Hydra, short for the Lernian Bone Hydra, who in canonically in Greek mythology is female. And this boss fight might look a little different than what many players might recognize. This is the Extreme Measures 2 boss stage which makes the room smaller and makes those heads that we saw very momentarily spawn closer <laughs> so we can kill them quickly as they group up. Yeah. Nice. All the heads. Yeah, we add heat actually in, in our, our speedruns makes us faster. There's uh, those, the heat for the extreme measures fights and we also have on, um, what's it called, forced overtime which makes enemies move faster and also spawn in faster, which is nice that they spawn in faster and also they take damage from status ailments like Jolted uh, a little bit quicker. And what's the other one? What's it called? Tight Deadline? Is that what it is? Yep, Tight yeah. Deadline. We also have that on. That just removes some long chafers in Tartarus, um, essentially. On to Elysium. Elysium is... Uh, this is the run killer, really. Um, this and, I guess, the sticks chambers. Um, you'll see that there's these enemies, like these shield guys that she's killing, that when they die, they drop a soul, so you have to, like, kill two things. Um, there's... It's a long biome. There's a lot of things that have to go right um, to kind of move back through it. But so far, these are some pretty decent rooms, and we're going to be looking for the hammer that she got here. We're really looking for Cluster Bomb. We really want to see that right now. Ah, I didn't get it. Okay. That's all right. We got Delta Chamber. It's not the really powerful combo that we're looking for, but Delta Chamber uh, is comfy. It's really comfy for a marathon. It gives us, um, you don't have to reload anymore. Uh, the gun is now like a three round burst. And you also get iframes out of your dash strikes. So most of the time she's going to be dash striking because uh, it kind of comes out quicker, as well as you get that damage from the Poseidon uh, attack. Rematch then. And, oh yeah, I forgot about the bull. We have our first, uh, our first bull of the run. This is one of the, the longer mini bosses. But anyway, she gets iframe. Usually you lose your iframes when you dash strike. Now that she has Delta, she does not lose those iframes. The last safer. Tell Theseus I said hi. Olympus, I accept this message. Nice. You'll notice that she picks these boons real quick. Um, kind of just sight reads them, and, and, and you go. That is definitely an acquired skill uh, from a long time playing, many, many hours. And, uh, <laughs> but also it it's, comes with the planning that she kind of does. Every time you kind of uh, see a boon or you know what god you're getting from, there's kind of this checklist in your mind that she goes through that um, uh, a kind of a decision tree of which, which thing she wants, which she doesn't, and you kind of make a snap decision. Um, and woo, baby. We got split and bolt. So she just took double strike from the previous Zeus, which is a prerequisite to uh, unlocking the Zeus legendary. Uh, splitting bolt is really good. It essentially adds 40 damage to every one of her uh, shots that she takes. Um, that's really powerful. That's really strong. We love we love to see that. That's a lot of fun. And it, it also applies to really any instance of a Zeus, Zeus boon. So on her call, she also gets all this extra damage. Really nice. God's grant me strength.
we want to be seen, and when you see that the health when these guys spawned in, that it was yellow, um, that means they're armored. So they have extra health. We actually want to be seeing that. Uh, there's higher values associated with armored enemies. Uh, so essentially fewer enemies will spawn in over the course of the chamber. So armored enemies are ideal. We like to see them. We don't like to see the uh, the naked enemies as we call them. And we're that was chamber 34. So we're out of Elysium and onto the heroes fight. Here we have the heroes of Elysium, Asterius and Ephesius, both. Um, since we already fought Asterius in the mini boss, he does come with a little bit less extra, a little bit less HP here. Ephesius is refusing to get out of his phasing bubble. As he does. And that's the fight. Yeah, these go by pretty quickly. Uh, if you're kind of used to um, a shade, uh, kind of casually running this game, this might seem like very fast. That's because it is. She's dispatching these enemies quite quickly. Uh, Arclay, do you want to explain sticks? Oh, sticks, sticks, sticks. Or run to go to die if they haven't already died. <laughs> so in the Temple of Sticks, we're going to be going through these tunnels looking for an item called the Seder Sack to give to our good boy Cerberus. Because he's guarding down the world, he's doing his job. We don't want to fight him. We just want to give him a snack. The issue lies in that the tunnel can be, the sack can be anywhere in the second, third, or fifth tunnels. Of course, in a speed run, we want to see it in the second tunnel. But that's only approximately a 50% chance, slightly higher than 50%. And sometimes you just have to go to the fifth tunnel, and it takes a long time. <laughs> Yep, it's out of our out of our hands. What we do is uh, we make sure we take the mini boss chambers, though. That is one thing we can do to speed this up, because mini bosses are a lot faster than the normal enemy rooms. So she's going to be taking those um, those here, and hopefully we don't even have to see the normal enemy rooms. Uh, I will be donating for every extra uh, tunnel that she has to go down. I'll be donating a dollar for those, as well as a dollar for every fish. Have we seen any fish? I forgot to look for fish. I forgot uh, to look as well. <laughs> well, maybe we'll start doing that. I'll try to call them out. Um, so yeah, so hopefully at the end of this chamber, we will be just seeing the Seder Sack, and we'll be on our way. Nope, that's all right, it happens. Not now. So this is our first extra tunnel. No way. You can also see how powerful uh, Poseidon dashes in these kind of confined places where you're pushing the enemies around and, and it does a big chunk of damage to them. Um, it's really, really nice for, for sticks in particular. Sticks and harder, so probably the best. Nice! It's a three sack. It's three sack. It's like that. Disgusting. Cerberus will love it. Once you start getting into the territory of four sacks is where you really, really start losing time. Yeah, because those combat rooms the rooms are quite big, and there are multiple waves. A three sack usually isn't too bad because you only have to fight two mini bosses. But those uh, four and five sacks can be a minute, a minute and a half per tunnel. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. So oh, there's a fish. Oh, nice surface fish. So we're greeting our dad. Yeah, we're just gonna have a nice little chat. Uh, there's two kind of phases to this fight. The first phase. What we're really going to be looking for is just burning him down as fast as possible so he doesn't use his darkness ability. Um, when he darknesses, he teleports away, he's invisible for, for a few seconds and we can't damage him. So we want to avoid that as best we can. And the only thing with the current build that we have right now to do about that is just do damage. So there's a darkness right there, one darkness. Nice, round of phase two. Let's finish this thing. I didn't mention that the keepsake I took into sticks is the Evergreen A4 from Eurydice, which nullifies the first five hits you take from a boss in each biome. Just for safety measures, Hades does a lot of damage. We don't want to take damage. It's a marathon. We didn't take any damage. Nice. That was pretty clean. 
Took That's the first round. Weapon one down. I did it. Have we gotten any more pets? Because we're about to go back to the house. Just have to oh, catch this fish. Oh, absolutely. We have, oh, geez, four more Pink pets. Fishies. Nice. And after fish. this fish, we can probably read some donations. Fish. It's a bass. Not perfect. <laughs> but it's a bass. I can't. Snakes and serpents. Yeah, you could read some, some donations while we pet Cerberus and set up for the next weapon. The awesome. World. I have so a twenty-five dollar donation from Proven. Good luck, Elena. This is super Greeting exciting. Very glad friend. you and Mads got to do this. Pet Cerberus. I have a fifty dollar donation from Zyruvius. Hades is all about petting the dog. We only go fast during runs to get back to our best boy even faster. Good luck, Arcalena. Super proud of this community for always showing so much love and support for both our runners and all of these great causes. Oh, no Cerberus. Not to pet him next time. Oh, no Cerberus. Good time for I'll get him. I can be stronger. Good time for a few more. Uh, one more quick one, I would say. Sure thing. I have $50 from Mug888. Go, Elena, go. Lapras and I got your back. We're literally cheering for you. <laughs> oh, nice. So we are moving on to our second weapon. The Aspect of Hera for the bow. Just got a hammer flurry shot, which normally we have to, you know, as bows do, pull back the, the string to shoot an arrow. Instead, we can just press the button once and it shoots an arrow. Kaz, do you want to explain yeah. how Hera works? Absolutely. So, Hera oh, is a cast time. weapon. It's the first of two cast specs, as we call them. And what you're going to be seeing now that she got the uh, uh, Aphrodite cast is she'll load up the cast, and then when she shoots her bow, at the end of the shot, the cast will kind of explode right where it is. So uh, she's not using it here because these enemies don't really require it, but you'll see in some, some future chambers um, this kind of just pink explosion, that, that's the cast, and then a bloodstone will drop. And you have to pick up a bloodstone to be able to cast again. Um, it, uh, we use Aphrodite in particular, her cast, because one, it's really high damage. It's a, it's one of those higher damage casts that we can do. And also, it just drops right where you shoot it. So a big part of playing Hera well is managing your casts and uh, kind of going to pick them up efficiently. Um, we're able to do that a lot better with Aphrodite because other casts kind of fly off into the distance and then you're spending a lot of time chasing the cast down and that is not very efficient time-wise. We also are seeing Decker here, which is absolutely the one god we want to be seeing on Hera. We'll see if we get what we want from her. She can be stingy. Let's see what else. Eh. Nope, Not yet. that's all right. Uh, we're probably going to be f uh, looking for Demeter again later because one of the big kind of, uh, uh, I guess, weak points of the Haribo is AoE damage. It does a ton of da damage to single targets. You kind of just dump your casts into them. But uh, we don't really do well with a bunch of smaller targets. So we're going to be looking for some form of AoE. And one of those is going to be coming from Demeter if we can get it. Um, otherwise, we're going to cobble together whatever we can. One of the nice things about the Haribo is it's pretty flexible as a, for, from a build perspective. Uh, so we generally can run it a little later in our, um, in our kind of multi-weapon runs like this and just make whatever we get work so there's ideals but um we can we can make do you see uh here which is what she'll probably take a chaos gate uh chaos gates bring us down to talk Dude. to master chaos see Let yep have it Chaos uh, offers us kind of a bargain. We have to have a curse for a certain amount of chambers so that we get a boon later. To be and we're gonna game. see what she gets. Nice, that's really good. So the curse that she has is uh, she takes damage when she uses her special, but we're not gonna be using our special on the Haribo at all, uh, for the most part. And I think I know what you're after, I think say. it was four chambers, three chambers, I'm not sure. She'll get an extra cast, and that's really powerful. Um, the Haribo, because that is our main source of damage. That is how we are um, outputting our damage. So having an extra, whole extra cast is essentially like another 25 for 33%. I don't know how math works, but it's a lot. 
As the community jokes, that's the qu a third of a, of a mirage shot. <laughs> Yeah, we do our math uh, via mir Mirage Shot uh, <laughs> calculations. <laughs> and that was to Tiffany, uh, the second of the theories. So, uh, will we be going Demeter into Asphodel? Yes. I'm going to do Demeter. There are some arguments for taking Artemis for an attack boom because we have Demeter. But I like just making sure we get that AOE boon that we talked about earlier. That you talked about earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's nice to be a little safer, especially I don't think your god pool's filled up, so um, you're not guaranteed to see her too quickly. Right. Do I have two currently? Yeah, yeah. You only yep. have... Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Um, what I was talking about god pools earlier, and you only have four. Once you have four of them, you essentially have a 25% chance to see all of them, right? Uh, when you don't have it filled up, you have a chance to see all eight of them. So you have a much smaller chance of seeing the things you want. So filling up your god pool, knowing how many gods you have, managing um, managing that kind of thing and then is really important. Do we have our Demeter here? Let's see if we get Snowburst. A juicy rare crop. She goes for it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw you sitting on it. I was like, are you going to do it? Uh, rare Crop's a gamble. It picks one of your boons at random, at least when it's at uh, common rarity, and it brings it down to common rarity, and every three chambers, it raises it a level in rarity. Uh, Arclana was gambling on that, hitting her cast, because that would do a lot of damage. It, 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 it hit, her, hit her dash, which is... Um, not great. It doesn't do much damage, but that's fine. There is a small perk to taking rare crop, though, in that you cannot put a pomegranate into rare crop. Uh, and oh, here's our first Dan. Oh no. I'll explain pomegranates in a moment, but first, uh, we don't like we don't like seeing Dan. You might like Thanatos. He's cute. Teases your boyfriend or whatever in this game. Um, but these encounters take forever in real time to clear. It is good to get them in um, we were timing in game time because as you can see the time we're in the top right corner, it stopped. And we're better ready. Wow. <laughs> well that was actually not that but bad. In no RTA really uh, real time, Thanatos chambers, not only do it wait from believe and all these things. Um, extend the number of enemies the number of enemies we have to defeat. Uh, yes. The game is apologizing for that bad room with the good room. Yeah. Another type of uh, free room. So, this is Eurydice, there's a story room in every biome that we can get that are quick free rooms where we get a boost. Uh, the thing that our clan got there was free pomegranates, and I'll quick explain pomegranates now then. Um, in, on our cast uh, weapons, so this one and our, our next one, Beowulf, we're going to be really focusing on putting pomegranates into our cast. That's our main source of damage, and that's one of the main ways that we can scale it up and do all this ridiculous damage that you're seeing, like phasing learning in one shot. Um, so we want to make sure that we have as few boons as possible that you can put pomegranates into. Rare crop is one that you can't put pomegranates into, so it's really nice to have to maximize the chance that your pomegranate goes where you want it. The other thing is, she just got from Hermes uh, a reload, which Hera, when you shoot the uh, cast into an enemy, it kind of sticks in them. For Hera, that's normally for five seconds, uh, which is still just a little too long. So quick reload drops that down at the cabin level that she has to two and a half seconds, which is really helpful in these boss fights and getting your cast back and doing damage again. Um, she took the Bone Hourglass. This will extend any well items that she purchases for eight more chambers. That's really good on our cast weapons. Another thing we're going to be looking for is, is well items to scale, um, because again, there's well items that raise our cast damage and give us more casts. And like I said, that's where our damage comes from. The item that we currently have right now that says the one um, is one example. It gives us 50% cast damage. Yeah, did you want to do uh, some donations? Uh, just actually a quick update. We only are $4,000 away from making extreme measures for for the third weapon run. Uh, I believe we have until, what, the end of, of this one to get there. We are so close. We are only 4000 away. And if you put that donation towards the pets, that's, that's, that's a lot more pets, Chad. That's a lot more pets. Yeah, please, uh, please get some, get those donations in. The Extreme Measures 4 fight is, and honestly, the Extreme Measures 3 fight are both really cool fights uh, that we'd love to show off. Um, really fun to watch, really great music. 
So yeah, get those donations in. And they are coming in. They are coming in. Shot, you're the best. <laughs> All right, let's see if we get another bull here. Nice, you get the butterfly ball. So you'll see how much faster this is if you remember the Asterius uh, fight earlier. Butterfly ball is quite a bit quicker. Another thing uh, as far as decision making goes that kind of just came up is picking up boons uh, and pomegranates takes time, right? There's a menu you have to select from it. There's like an animation. Uh, picking up hearts, money, uh, meta rewards, uh, you just pick it up and you go. So once your build is kind of together and you don't really need boons, or if there's just a god that you don't really uh, need a boon from that badly, you generally avoid it. So you can just quick pick up money like she just did and you'll be moving on your way. Small optimizations like that over the course of a run make a huge, huge difference in time. And this is where we would like to have some AoE. She's clearing things pretty, pretty quickly uh, despite it, but when those souls drop out of these dudes, um, it's, it's nice to just have some AoE to clean them up so you don't have to take another shot and pick up your casts again. Something else. Dang. I'll take them. They're there. Yeah. But they don't yeah. do that much. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Another fountain. So was that 34? No. 33. That's 33. 34. Now would be a good time for donations if there are any. Oh, there are. There are. <laughs> I have a $500 donation from Maglev. It's always great oh. to see my friends on big stages. So have a dog pet. Thank you so much. I have a $30 donation from TTAM. Circus is such a good puppo. $5 pot train. Well, I got two hands and he's got three heads, so here's six tickets. I think that's how that works. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. I have a $50 donation from Kolobi. Oh so excited to see Hades showing up at a GDQ again. Good luck, Elena. Let's get to that EM4 incentive. Also, a little bird told me this is how we lobby for your beanbow aspect of the week. Thank you for your donation. <laughs> I have $125 from Tyrannosaurus X. Proud of you, Elena. More pets, please. We are only $4,000 away from hitting that extreme measures for a chat. We don't have a lot of time to do that, but I believe we can do it because that would be super, super cool to see. And we're well on our way for more pets for the good boy. We have $50 from Heldon Sobre. Always have to donate during Hades runs in honor of my bestie pupper, Zagreus. Also, more pets for servants. Thank you so much for your donation. I had no okay, idea where Theseus really yeah, no <laughs> was. <laughs> How did he get over there? I know. He was turtled up in the corner. Uh, Theseus has a shield as well that is really, I, I don't know, I find it can be challenging sometimes. The fight gets away from you with the, with the bow that he can block like all your shots. Um, but that's okay. Got through it, and we're on to our next sticks. Again. Yeah, I'm watching uh, the replay on, on Twitch now live and he just scoots on down there when you're not looking <laughs> Satan tunnels. okay so we're back to back to praying here and as far as enemies go the the one thing that we really don't want to be seen with uh, is the tiny vermin the tiny the tiny mice the little rats they, they take a lot longer to clear. They, they spawn in waves. Um, you're seeing them here. I spoke them into existence. I apologize. <laughs> but it's nice that at least we have, like, triple shot uh, for a second hammer. It helps a little bit with these. Uh, I, that's some copium, I guess. <laughs> it's Rats O'Clock. Rats O'Clock up in here. I accept this message. Nice. Sweet surrender is like fine. And so here's our second mini boss tunnel. Not now. Not yet. Okay. 
Nice. Yep. Sack already. Nice clean two sack. Can't do that. So I'm gonna try to explain real quick uh, a, 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 one of our glitches. We don't have a ton of glitches in this this game, and one of them we have on the Haribo that we can, if we get Hades in a in a position that he's near a wall, essentially, we can shoot our casts into him at the at the correct angle. They'll just pop out and fall directly on the ground, and we can really okay. quickly cycle our our shots into him, uh, which is more. Uh, happens more in the second phase than the first phase, but I'm hoping we can show off a glitch <laughs> uh, uh, here tonight. We're going to be hopefully showing off two, I guess. Oh no! So there's one of the darkness. That could have been bad if those casts went out into the lake. They didn't. Oh, oh can Cancel darkness. So, you may have noticed that I took a different keepsake into sticks this time. This is the Sigil of the Dead, Katie's is keepsake. And that gives us a uh, Hades call, basically. Which not only does it um, increase your speed and damage momentarily, but it also forces enemies to repeat their last attack. So for Hades, that can get to repeat an attack and delay his darkness. Doesn't look like we're gonna get the no the wall. Bug. He, he was close. I thought we were gonna get it there. Um, so the lasers came out. You hug Dad. You just kind of burn him down and run with our second one. So that means that we are going to be petting the dog and coming up on the EM4 incentive. So how many pets are we at Hades. now? We have five more pets for the good boy. So nine total. Um, uh, no, so it's we five, five total. Zagreus oh, five total. Uh, into a chamber, black as night. So this will be the also the last pool. opportunity and for EM4 here in however long mind it takes the pet. Which we are only yeah, go ahead. Sure, we are only sure. three thousand five hundred dollars away from EM four, and uh, I, I I've been told let's, we're gonna keep pushing for that. Uh, I have a twenty five dollar donation from Clarinet Hero, who's a good boy, who's the best three headed boy of the underworld. You are Cerberus. Thank you for your donation. I have a twenty five dollar donation from Nanobite sixteen sixty seven. My seven dogs: Charlie, Tessa, Tonks, Harry, Hamilton, Trick, and Mary Gillow. Insist that I donate towards petting the best doggo of the underworld. I can't say no to their adorable faces, so here's twenty five towards petting Cerberus. I have a $70 donation from Kylaria. $10 for every second I was off my PV for that A, B, and C run. Thanks to Frame Frame Tales once again for accepting Cadence of Hyrule. And let's keep on petting that doggo. I have a $125 donation from Pinecomb. Circumstances call for here. more pets. I have a $100 donation from Cerberus. Extreme measures and extreme pets call for extreme donations. Let's go Twitch chat, less than three. I have $125 from Rough Dog McGruff. Who's a good boy? Thank you for your donation. I have $100 from Sam the Person Pet. That dog. $50 from Perfect English. Great game, great cause, great community. Good luck, Arcolina. Thank you deal. all for your donations. $25 from Infinite Man's <laughs> More Pets for Best Boy Cerberus and Blessings of Hermes to our runner. We are getting so many pets in for our best boy. Did we get a sixth pet? I feel like we, we just did get We did get a sixth pet. We got a I sixth know. pet. $25 from Holly, like pet, pet that heads, dog. Huh? 25 no. from the old Joy. We gotta get at least one pet per head, chat, or three for one head. Who likes pets? I have 25 from dog. Pet the dog, please. <laughs> we are getting so much closer to that incentive, and we're also edging ever so closer to $125,000, chat. You are amazing. Let's keep those donations coming in. I have $25 from Happy Bear. We've got to make one final push to get above $127,000. Chat, I know we can do it. I know we can do it too. Are we there? I'm just checking the incentive. Are we there? Should we not yet. stall for a second? <laughs> we are not at the incentive quite yet. We are about $3,200 off of it. Extreme measures for chat. Well, I'm, I am still going to change my packs here to force overtime one because Beowulf, the shield, if we don't get a specific hammer, it does struggle with mobility. So just so that we don't have to 
constantly be dropping or chasing after fast moving enemies, I am going to drop the force overtime one. Any last second $3,000 donation? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Then I will be starting the third weapon. All right, that's okay. The Beowulf shield is still a lot of fun to watch, and we can still be pet Cerberus uh, after. Um, this is our second cast spec. Ooh, good. We got the cast. That can be scary if you don't get the cast. Uh, on this one, we're, we're opting for the Poseidon cast. Now, it works in a very similar way to the Haribo, the Beowulf shield does, where you charge up your bull rush, and then after the bull rush, the cast explodes out. We take Poseidon's cast uh, primarily for its AoE is one of the major reasons, uh, but it doesn't have that great of damage. It's one of the lower damage casts, no. actually. But that's okay. We're going to be looking for one of our uh, few glitches that we have in this game, or bug, glitch, I don't know, maybe it's intended, uh, the Mirage Shot bug. So we're going to be augmenting our damage by getting a Duo Boon. And we haven't actually seen any Duo Boons yet, have we? If you get the prerequisites, yeah, if you get the prerequisites from two different gods, uh, they both have a chance to offer you a Duo Boon. We're going to be looking for Artemis. We really, really want to see Artemis because she is a prerequisite for Mirage Shot, um, which is another reason why we take Beowulf at all, or excuse me, Poseidon at all. Um, he's the other half of Mirage Shot. And hopefully we can explain Mirage Shot when, uh, when she gets it, but suffice it to say, it'll it'll amp up our damage uh, quite a bit. And uh, we're, we're very much all in on getting that on this, on this weapon. Also hoping we see Charge Shot here. Nope, that's all right. Uh, I will do a quick plug, too, for... Uh, we mentioned briefly earlier that uh, it was good to see a Thanatos for a uh, in-game time run, uh, whereas we're doing RTA here. There is a ton of different ways uh, to speedrun Hades that are really beginner-friendly uh, or just really malleable to however you want to play. We have in-game time runs. We have much longer runs than this. You might have seen the all-weapons run at the last GDQ. We have even longer ones, uh, half specs and all aspects and, and OWO runs and stuff. Um, but if, uh, you know, taking your time and uh, thinking through your decisions is more your speed, uh, any heat is is great for that too. So yeah, we have we have a lot of different a lot of different stuff going on in the Hades speedrunning community. Whether you're new to the game or uh, you're doing high heat or something. Huge shout out to the Hades speedrunning community. It's been a wonderful community this past year and a half or so about a year. Met some wonderful people. Super welcoming community. Always help. Always there to help new people learn and notice. Great community. Yeah, I would I would echo that. Katie's speedrunning community is the most welcoming uh, speedrunning community, uh, video game community I've ever been a part of. Uh, really cool to, to new runners and old runners alike. Um, we're just happy to talk about the game and, and uh, see some new faces. So if you enjoy this, ooh, uh, <laughs> stop by the stop by the the, the speedrun Discord. Um, we're we're being teased there with a Chiron fight. All right, and I've been talking a lot about the kind of luck that goes into um, uh, these kind of builds and how we kind of mitigate that luck in different ways to find what we want. But also, as we're going forward with the Beowulf shield, really pay attention to like Archelaida's oh, movements through the chambers. Well, well. Um, she, oh, we have our third Fury, nice. Maybe. We've seen all three, here's Electo. Um, she will be kind of manipulating the spawns for one. You'll see her kind of run to the side of chambers uh, seemingly. That is uh, to manipulate where the enemies will spawn to give them more favorable positioning. You'll see her do things like um, moving very purpose purposefully when she enters the chamber. There's kind of different ways that enemies can spawn in different tiles. And after hundreds and hundreds of hours of playing, you kind of 
uh, memorize and get a feel for the best ways to move through. And on top of that, there's the component of getting the enemies into your casts and managing how many casts you use, right? So she'll be um, trying to maximize the, the how many enemies are in different areas and using her movement and the kind of knockback on the shield to put them in those areas. So there's a lot that goes into the Beowulf shield. It's one of uh, the more nuanced kind of weapons, movement-wise and cast management-wise, uh, that we have, I think. Um, and she swapped to the Artemis keepsake. So we run, we want to see an Artemis as soon as we can here to open up a uh, Mirage Shot for us. And it's probably a good time for a couple donations as she kind of clears some rooms in Asphodel. Okay, thank you so much. I have a $25 donation from Trash Lapras. So proud of you, Elena. Hoping for five stacks of Beowulf content. I have a $100 donation from Ed is everywhere. Good pets for a good pupper, less than three. $500 from Air, had a can, no comment, just pet the dog once more. Thank you all so much. I have $15 from Perfect Blue. Hades has meant so much to me since I first got my hands on this incredible game. And I'm so glad that it gets to be showcased today for such a good cause. Good luck to Elena on finishing this run. May your six tunnels be swift. Thank you so much for your donations. We are edging ever so closer to having more pets for our servers. And Delicious. we are only about $2,800 away from hitting the amount that we raised last event. We are so close. Come on, Twitch chat. We can do this. We have a $25 donation from Barbara Richa. Cerberus huh? deserves a pet. Three times the head, three guess. times the good boy. Hey, got anything else? <laughs> okay. So... A uh, quick explanation of what just happened there. So first of all, we have, we're have we going to be getting Artemis from here. And that'll be our third god in our pool, or would have been the third god in our pool. So Artemis decided to purchase the Zeus in that shop so that we fill up our god pool. We have four gods. Thing is, uh, we don't really want anything from Zeus. Particularly, we don't want anything from Zeus on our mm, core boots. What because what's going to happen now is she is eligible to get duo boons uh, uh, sea Storm and Lightning Rod. She doesn't want those. She wants to maximize her chances of being offered the Duo Boon Mirage Shot. Um, so a little unfortunate that she was kind of forced to put Zeus on a core. Um, and here's our second fan. But hey, that's the way it goes. Once, especially once you get deep into these kinds of runs, um, you kind of have to just make do and maximize your chances the best you can. And it doesn't always doesn't always play out. But here's our next fan. Um, so, we'll see if he gets any kills this time. He's not, he's supposed to be helping us. It's supposed to be like this teamwork. Oh yeah, let's, let's slay these people together. He is really bad at helping us out. He might get a kill here. Oh, oh, he got a kill. Oh, good job, Sam. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> got more of them than I did, huh? All right, we're hoping to see a Poseidon or an Artemis in this shop. Oh. Here's the feet. Okay, good. Hey! hey. <laughs> okay. <Woo. laughs> so we got Mirage Shot. So, Mirage Shot, what the text on the, the boon says is that yeah, you whenever you like cast, you another face. cast comes out, a smaller one, that does 30% of damage as the first one. Cool, that sounds pretty good on a cast weapon, right? Well, that's how it normally works. For some reason on Beowulf, uh, that second cast, instead of being 30%, is 100%. And 100% is, last I checked, more than 30% by quite a bit. So we really we really want to be seeing that barrage shot. It just amps up our damage real quick. And let's see if um, there's some fun stuff you can be doing in the learning fight with this giant AOE on the side cast, where you can kind of just pop, blow up a bunch of heads at the same time. Just, just like that, that's really great. And that's learning. Things just kind of crumble once you have Mirage Shot. That's our main way of scaling on, on Bayo. All right. We go to the Bone Hourglass again. We're looking, uh, looking for those kind of those items from the well that can really help us um, scale up our damage. 
and on to our last Elysium. Elysium. So the main thing we're looking at getting from our Elysium is our hammer. We want to be getting charge shot if we can, um, which will really change how the shield works. Oh, I can do the respawn. Took care of it real quick. Those of you watching the HTQ race may notice that Beowulf was looking a little different than in that race because two racers, Seagull and Tonus, were running the modded version of Hades, which offers some quality of life improvements and smooths the most egregious of the RNG. And one of those is guaranteeing the first hammer of your choice. Yeah. Which is the charge on hammer that Mads has mentioned. Which turns our shield into a bow. Of, like a giant projectile weapon. Didn't get uh, it. Didn't get it, that's alright. Uh, sudden Rush is one of the better ones, I uh, guess. <laughs> kind of coping here. We really do want to see charge shot, but that's okay. And mentioning the, the modded categories um, kind of just speaks to the fact that we have a lot of ways that, that you can speed run that kind of seer style. Yeah, you're really able to see sometimes here uh, how big that AOE is and how it goes through these little pillars and stuff to kind of just clear out large right, parts. Of wow, level now. three. Way pounding. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can see why when Matt was talking earlier about wanting less boons that can be probable. That's the kind of the reason we want all our bombs to go into our cast. And sometimes if we get too many boons that can be bombed, they get off the good stuff. Yep. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> sure. Moving right on. So, what just happened there? Okay. Wait, what is. Is this off Greater Reflex? Or, uh. Yeah. Okay. Greater, greater Haste. Greater Haste, yeah. Oh man, a lot's happening here. So, we just got Rush Delivery. Rush Delivery is the best boon yes, in the game. Okay. Uh, usually. It gives us damage for uh, our speed boosts. So 100% damage when it's at, uh, yep, 100% damage when it's at epic. Um, but the only speed boost A and other foul, a lot of free rooms. This, this game goes so fast. Usually we want that off of hyper, uh, hyper, hyper, oh my god, hyper sprint sprint, which gives us 100% speed boost, which will basically double our, our damage. It's operating off of a 20% boost, though, um, so it's only 20% increase. But it's really funny because you rarely, rarely get the epic rush delivery um, on Beowulf. But whatever, damage is damage, I guess, as well. And as we were trying to explain that, there was two free rooms that happened, which is really great. We want to be seeing those late in the biome. Um, and I guess that was, um, hadn't seen Patty yet. That is the story room for Elysium. And unfortunately have to put the palm into wave pounding again because of all the boons. Mysterious, other guy. No matter. This fight can go real quick if, they, uh, if these two stay grouped up. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, this is this is ideal. You want them standing right next to each other. So every cast hits both of them. Nice. There's my shade. Going to stick some third time, and I think that would be a good time for donations. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, and we are so close to $125,000, chat, we can do it. I have $825 from Dragonista, no doggos here, but our scaly monster, Batego Snacks, hates having his pet pet, so he'd like us to donate those pets to Cerberus instead. Thank you for your donation. I have a $200 donation from Bob, just Bob. Heck yeah for Hades! I'm overdue for a donation to a GDQ event, so I figured I can throw two-fifths of a Cerberus pet towards a good cause. Educate those girls, and since my governor doesn't understand it, trans rights. Heck yeah, trans rights. Thank you for your donation. Do we have right. eight trans rights. Right. For sure. For sure. We have a hundred dollar donation from Turberry and Tidal Waves. We are proud of you, and seriously, chat, Cerberus needs all of the pets. 
We just hit $825,000 raised for the Lala Fund. Pat, you are amazing. We are only $2,226 off of our all-time high for this event. Let's go. Okay, I think so we get to squeeze a little bit more. Yeah, to sure. see if we get hit in this tunnel or not. Heck yeah, I've got a $25 anonymous of donation. Love this event so much. Thanks to everyone for making it happen. I have a 125 donation from Plizix. GDQ events are always entertaining for my family and me. Thanks for putting on another amazing event. I always love seeing the gaming community come together to raise money for charity. Thank you all so, so much. This means so much to Malala Fund. You all are amazing. Looks like we're going to be having at least one more tunnel. So if you want to get maybe one or two more in, uh, sure thing. Or the I last have stat fight. Yeah. Absolutely. I have $33 from Casca. Love Hades. Love the cause. Thank you very much. I have $25 from Ducky the Third, Esquire, Pets for a Good Boy, and Pets in the Pork and Night for the run and help the upbeat hosting on this amazing final night. Thank you so much. I'm having a lot of fun with this run. And I have $25 from Opaque Dreamer. This has been a great event. I live for these weeks. Smiley face. Thanks to all the runners, hosts, couchmates, and crew. Less than three. Yes, Nicole, can I just this over? No, you. You're so sweet. Thank you all, chat. For 125, 130. Y'all are great. We still have time for more money to pet the dog. Just a few more times. So let's get those donations in so we can give the good boy the pets. Well, it looks like... Uh, we are seeing our first in the normal Hades. enemy chamber here in Styx, and you can see maybe how long that takes. There are big rooms, things spawn in waves, um, so we really don't like you to see that. Uh, so it's going to be our first four sack of the night, Hades. at least. Uh, yeah, <laughs> at least. Are you going to see the five sack? It's the, approximately a four percent chance to get it. You have I've to be lucky kind of to get it. For it. Yeah, you have to be the Early luckiest. Concept. <laughs> All right, does that room chamber three? I don't quite remember. I think that was two. Two. Not yet. On the upside. Aww. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sack RG wasn't the worst. Could have been. Could have been worse. We're gonna take a heart. Just a little more damage for insurance here, and we're on to our last, last dad fight. I owe you one, boy. So this is kind of more of the same. She has the Hades call this right. time, though. This remember, um, to try to lock him into a a, a move. So when he does a spin or one of his kind of thrusts. Um, those are times when she'll try to sneak in the Hades call and he'll repeat that move, which guarantees his next uh, attack won't be the darkness. Um, if that even comes to pass, she has a decent amount of damage. Um, so she might have just the damage to... Oh, there we go. You just saw it happen there. You kind of just make him dance. He does a spin and you say darkness and he does another spin for you. Um, uh, and build the call, pick it up this time, so... Oh, man, the those, either, so. those yeah. archers in this fight would be real annoying. But okay, and this is the last health bar. Just cycling those casts as fast as you can. And that's time. That is time. Jeez. Nicely done. Again. Thank you. We still do need to go pet service a few more times, but in the name of someone very sore right now. Do you get any more shoutouts you want to do, man? Uh, yeah, I can quick. I, I guess uh, just on this I want to echo something Prince we've already said. Huge shout out to the Hades 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 speedrunning community. So I've seen a bunch of you in chat slowly, um, supporting us, times. and I want to no, say no. y'all are some of the most supportive group of gamers that um, I've ever I've ever known. So appreciate you all, and I encourage anyone if you thought this looked cool and was fun, um, stop on by the, the Discord. Um, also, thank you, Arkelana, for having me, and keep keep donating the. 
uh, event's not over. We have one more run after this, and it's going to a great cause. So keep the donations coming. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Do we have any more pets? We do. We have two more pets for the best boy. You want more pets? I got more pets here, boy. I just want to echo everything that Matt said. Edie's Peter community, wonderful community that I've been very lucky to be a part of. And that managed to bring you Hades to GDQ, yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you to GDQ and Lollathon for letting us show off this awesome game. That was an amazing Hades run chat. We did so good with petting the dog. Got to pet the dog so many times. Thank you so much. As a reminder, there is a naming incentive up for Mass Effect. We have three names currently. You can, of course, add your own. We have German with 225, Goodnight with 160, and Shepherd with 25. So if you have any preference towards the name, now is your time to go ahead and get those donations in. We only have a little more time for that. So go ahead and donate towards that so you can name Shepherd. I have a $25 donation from Uzeas. So are we looping or? <laughs> thank you for your donation. I have $100 donation from Sturdy Wrists. They do not leave a comment, but thank you so, so much. I have a 3333 donation from Non-Binary Code. I really shouldn't do this. I'm making myself a liar again, and I'm already well over my budget, but when doggos need petting and milestones need reaching, well, I just can't help myself. Hades hype. Fast fights, trans rights, less than three. Thank you so, so much for your donation. I have a $25 donation from Anonymous. Thank you so much, Anonymous. They do not leave a comment, but we appreciate it so, so, so much. I have a $200 donation from iShip Zagreus and John. Phenomenal runners, hosts, and commentators. Yet another incredibly strong GDQ event from you all and everyone behind the scenes. Keep doing you. Here's to Cerberus and the real protagonist of Hades. Thank you so much. We did that. We pet the dog so many times. Chad, I'm so proud of you all. <laughs> we are at $125,280, chat. That means we are less than $2,000 away from hitting our all time high raised for frame fatales. We are absolutely going to crush that tonight. Thank you so much for being here. It is because of you that we can do this, and it's going to such an amazing cause, Malala Fund. Just, y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. And if you're just joining us, Malala Fund is working for a world where all girls can learn and lead. Malala Fund advocates for resources and policy changes needed to give all girls a secondary education, invests in local education leaders, and amplifies the voices of girls fighting for a change. Learn more at Malala.org. I have a $25 donation from Lapras Soul. Thanks to everyone who made this event happen for a wonderful marathon. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. We've got this. We have another amazing run coming up. Mass Effect. It's going to be so great. I have a $600 donation from Sam. Thanks for putting on such a wonderful event. Thank you for your donation. It is. It truly is because of you all that we can do this. And it means so much that you all are here tonight. This has been absolutely amazing so far. And we are absolutely going to finish up strong. And chat, get up, stretch, get some water, keep hydrated. We're going to be right back, okay? Okay.
Welcome back from that break. I hope you all got hydrated and got to stretch. We are going to see some more about our amazing prizes with Frozen Flygon and Scent, so take it away. Oh, I, this is not where I thought no, you were going. No, with, no, I right, thought okay. you were okay. I, I, I was going for the patty I cake. I, I was the, hoping the, we could play on oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Frost Fatales 2022. My name is Scent, and of course, I am joined by the incredible Frozen. How are you doing, Frozen? I, I'm doing good. It's it's kind of dawning on me. We're getting towards I, the end I, of the event. Ma Marathon's almost one more run, right? How did this happen? I, I, it, it feels like it should be Monday, but you know? Yeah, it does. It really Mar does. Marathons are always like that, but everyone at home, the marathon is not over. We, of course, still have that amazing Mass Effect run coming up, and we still have so many absolutely amazing prizes that you can all win by donating. Let's take a look at some of them. From our good friend Wolf Shadow, again, of course, we have a set of absolutely lovely patches here. The Winged Strawberry, available for a $5 minimum donation, as well as a lovely set of Sonic Head patches, available for a $15 minimum donation, uh, all together. One day I will figure out the correct uh, way to hold Tails' head. This is Knuckles, right? Yeah, that's Knuckles. All right, we're good on that one, then. <laughs> Beautiful set of uh, five patches here of Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and Shadow. $15 minimum of the nation. Thank you so much to Wolf Shadow for sending those out to us. Absolutely. And we also just had the Cadence of Hyrule run a few... Uh, you know, a few hours ago, and that was really awesome. And we've got Link and Zelda here in their cadence of Hyrule form. I love their little expressions here, the pixelation. You know, the pic the pixel art that's done by Kind of Nerdy Housewife here is just fantastic. I love the melt on these. And for the set of two of them, it's a minimum donation of tw of fifteen dollars. Anytime from now till the end of the marathon. Indeed. Make sure to get those donations in. And again, everyone, I'm going to tell you right now, $25 donation. If you have not gotten in a $25 donation from the start of this price segment, trust me, you are going to want to. We will get there. Mm. There's some uh, fun new prizes available. But for the moment, let's talk about some stuff that we've gotten to see before, sticking on the Zelda theme. We have, from Bookworm, this absolutely lovely cross-stitch of the Master Sword going through the Hylian Crest and Triforce with the classic line, It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, embroidered below it. It's it's just so good. I mean, again, this is a cross-stitch with just absolutely beautiful shading, and that mm -hmm. is something I feel like I do not get to say enough. It is incredible. As we zoom in on it here, you can even see the individual stitches on the piece. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to Bookworm for sending it out to us. $25 is going to get you entered to this. And don't go anywhere because we have another amazing Zelda-themed cross-stitch from Teggy Stitches. Yes. Again, we got Link riding Epona from the Oracle series. Like, come on. This is incredible. This is a cross-stitch. I cannot express just how ridiculous this is. is. This is amazing. This is like thousands of stitches, yeah. right? Yeah, and his pose is just so dynamic. You could just see his expression and the color on the tunic. You know, it's it's just pic picture perfect. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much to Techie Stitches. Uh, and again, $25 is going to get you into, into both of those. But that's not all it's going to get you entered into. It's going to get you entered into some amazing Celeste prizes. Frozen, I know you want to talk. You reached I out as you know I what? started talking, I, so I couldn't I, get it. I saw Sam reach over this and I said, not today. Uh, and so we have a, a Nintendo Switch physical edition of Celeste, which is already amazing, but it's signed by the extremely okay devs, the makers of Celeste. We got Pedro, Noel, Maddie, Heidi, and Amora. And I, it, it, they've even labeled it Frost House 2022. It has this gorgeous design of Madeline holding the heart when you be when you find in the A sides of the levels. And it's really hard to get one of these, and it's impossible to get one signed by all of the Celestives. Yeah, I, I mean, limited run. You could see it right there. It was a limited run. A limited run games. And it is so cool. And keeping the theme <gasps> yes. with amazing Celeste prizes, $25 is also going to get you entered into this absolutely beautiful acrylic on canvas painting from Carolyn Designs, Reflections. We got Madeline. We got Madeline in the mirror. We got a beautiful, memorable scene of Madeline confronting her inner demons from yes. the mirror temple in Celeste. Just 
such a great scene, such a great game, such a great painting. $25 is going to get you entered into all of that and more because we still have more amazing prizes. Like, how about oh. this lovely laser cut oh cartridge holder from Joe? Shout out to Joe. Thanks, yeah, Joe. Th this is so cool. This was done. This is a block of wood that has been precision oh. laser cut oh into a 3D diorama. You can see it here as I tilt it down. You know, there's the parts of it that are raised game. up. It's incredible. Yeah, we've got the beach where you find the sword in Link's Awakening. And then on the back here, <gasps> you know, we have the, uh, the house where you start in the oh game. You can gosh. see the beds and the characters and everything are raised above the background. It is so the cool. The little sprites that are in that. Like, they're so tiny, but they have so much detail. It's just absolutely amazing. It's incredible. And, of course, the sides are embroidered with the game name Link's Awakening there. Wow. Truly a piece of masterful craftsmanship. $25 minimum donation is going to get you entered into that as well as so many other great prizes. Like, how about the Frost Fatals 2022 banner from our own in-house artist, LLK? How could you not want yeah, that banner? It's absolutely. incredible. We printed out about six feet long, a foot and a half wide. It's a one-of-a-kind design. It's a piece of frame fatales of GDQ history that you could own with a $25 minimum donation. But, Court, you know, I got to be honest with you. What's, what, what's up, Sam? What there's, you got for me? You know, every event, I, I feel like there's a point where we go, okay, Scent, scent is out of prizes at this point. Like, we, we've seen enough prizes. Yeah, I mean, I've been in the studio all week. I've surely seen everything that you have to offer for this event. Incorrect. Just... There oh. are more prizes. Oh, oh okay. okay. Because a $25 oh. Oh, oh. donation is uh. also going to get you entered into... Oh. Where did you get this? How about a collector's edition? This is so large. Where are you even hiding this? Standing. Well, you know, I do live behind the couch. Don't worry about it. Okay. We got a lot of space back there. It's, yeah, there's like a portal to another it's, dimension. Of it's prizes. extra dimensional oh, prize you zone. To, you want me to hold? Okay. Why, why don't you just hold that? Okay, real I quick. Will, okay I'll peek out from over here. It's a collector's Bye. edition of Death Stranding that comes with a one to one replica of the BB carrier. I don't know from how I feel game. about this. If I'm being honest, I. But you know, it's probably very cool. I'm sure it's I, very cool. I'm going to be honest. I, I have not played Death Stranding. Nope. I have not watched Death Stranding. I cannot comprehend Death Stranding. I think that's the point. You're probably right, but it is a really cool collector's edition of the game, if, if nothing else. That is a massive box. Okay. It's got some cool stuff in there. It's got a steel book as well as, I believe, an art book oh. uh, for Death Stranding. But I know some of you are thinking, you know, I'm not really a Death Stranding kind of person. Well, how about this lovely Majora's Mask Perler? It looks super great. And, you know, if you're going to have a Majora's Majora's Mask Perler, you might as well have a copy <gasps> of Majora's Mask for the N64. Oh my love goodness. this cartridge mod. You could you can even see it in the camera. It's got like a holographic effect on it. I love the gold color we got on that, and like they just come together as a perfect pair. Yeah, no, it's it's super cool. And I mean a $25 donation is gonna get you in to, to win all of those. And hey, listen, you know, <gasps> if you're gonna have Majora's Mask, you're gonna oh! need some assistance. So we have Navi. Everyone needs Thank you, some Navi. Navi. Here, I'll, I'll keep you up here with me. Thank and I mean, you. you know, if you're gonna have Majora's Mask and you're gonna have Death Stranding, you should probably read up a little bit about Zelda. Oh! So how about a copy of uh, Legends of Localization from the Legends of Localization team and Fangamer? You know, it goes over the localization and translation of the first Legend of Zelda game. A lot of really interesting tidbits in there about it. And I mean, if you like that book... Why not check out Legends of Localization Volume 2? Oh. I'm stuck in a video game. Uh-huh. Press start to translate. This one's my favorite. It's basically uh, Clyde Mandolin has taken Final Fantasy IV and shoved it into Google Translate oh, and no. gone. Why can't we just do this all the time? The answer, there's a lot of reasons why you can't do that. There's a whole book of reasons <laughs> there's why, There's a whole fact. book of reasons. And if you like bad translations, how about this be book bad translation? Video games. Oh, yes, the sentences that completely made sense and had no errors at all. Yeah, no, perfectly natural sentence for sure. It's full of all of the classic mistranslations of video games of yesteryears. Like one of my favorites, you invaders, get you the hot shotgun bullets of die. <laughs> Oh, understood. Okay. Oh, I'll, you, okay. I'll just become a library yeah. over here. Yeah. You know, okay. why don't you hold all those books okay. Okay. and those games yeah. and uh, you know yeah. that artwork? You know, Navi, Navi can go on my head. And she I'm can... gonna go get the rest of it because we're not done. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta make some more room, I guess. How, because you, you know, know let me. Okay. If you like Zelda and you like some Nintendo games, then maybe you'll enjoy. 
the NES Classic Edition. Yep. Oh! We got, we got Donkey Kong, we got Final Fantasy, we got SMB3, we got Mega Man 2, we got all the classics here available for you with the NES Classic. But, you know, I was born a little bit after the NES Classic, so I think I'm all about the Super NES oh, Classic. Oh, the Super NES! Of course, I have one of these at home. They're absolutely incredible. That's actually, you know... I started playing Super Mario World and speedrunning Super Mario World on my SNES Classic. It works great for speedrunning, actually. Yeah, there you go. And it's the official release of Star Fox 2. Yes, it is. A game that I have absolutely played, and I will <laughs> leave that to you to write a review on there, it. There's a, there's a, a Chicken Walker R-Wing mode. That's that's about all I... I'm going to be honest. I, I couldn't complete it. I It, it wasn't that long. But, yeah, we're almost there. But you know what? I'm, I'm really not about the, the artwork court. I'm kind of about, you know... Pins. I, I really enjoy some pins. So how about uh, some pins for you? We got oh. a couple of the World Ends with You themed pins oh. here from the original as well as Neo. Oh my gosh, from the new one too. Yeah. And uh, we got three houses pins representing all three of the playable houses here, including the blue lines, which we saw a run of. We did. The Golden Deer, which we didn't see a run of, and the Black Eagles who weren't invited to the bid war. Sorry, Black <laughs> Eagles, your route is not as interesting. It's okay, Edelgard, I love you. We've also got this absolutely adorable uh, Meowth-styled, uh, like, Japanese feudal Koban coin here, uh, as well as a Corviknight. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. When I first saw a Corviknight, uh, I thought it was a Dark Souls enemy. I did not realize <laughs> that was a Pokemon. I'm old now. You know, we I all feel learned it. things today, and that was one of them for some people, I'm sure. And, of course, the most dangerous of all of the things I've shown you in pin form so far, the goose. Oh, no. Oh, no. The um, goose. Okay, yep, well... Peace might have been an option, but peace was never an option. You know, I think we can be friends because we're both wearing some bows, and that's the only way I'm going to get out of this alive. But all of those pins were a little small, and, you know, none of them really... Had the same size as this jumbo oh, Isabel pin. Oh, hi, Isabel. We got Isabel from Animal Crossing in a jumbo pin size. How could you not love it? By the way, again, $25 minimum donation. I'm just saying, the, the couch that is covering court right now, $25 minimum donation. Get all those donations this. in. Literally, the things I cannot hold and I'm trying to showcase all at the same time. $25. That's all you need to do right now or at any time towards the end of the event. And I'm not even done yet because, oh you know, we goodness. have some lovely no. artwork here as well. How about a Hollow Knight print set on top of everything else? We, of course, have uh, Quarrel here. We have, uh, you the know, Radiance. the Hollow Knight fighting the Radiance. There you go. Aww. We've got Hollow Knight and Hornet. I love this scene. Yep. And, uh, of course, we have the Hollow Knight uh, themselves, <laughs> you know, chained up in the black egg. And all of them are done on this lovely, sparkly uh, printing paper you can see here. Yeah, it's adds shiny. That's a, a very nice, shiny effect. If you just want to hold those for here, me, Court, can, because um, there's even yeah. more artwork. Here we go. This is right side up, right? Yeah, you've got it. Don't worry about All right, it. Thanks. Because we also have a oh couple of absolutely beautiful acid prints here featuring <laughs> Sense inability to hold paintings the correct way, but also featuring Ori in the Blind Forest and The Witcher. Uh, these are super cool prints. I love the colors on them. I love the style on them. And I love that you could win them with a $25 minimum donation. Everything you see here covering court could all be yours for one singular $25 donation. And remember, if you have not donated $125 cumulatively throughout this marathon, you should do so because that's going to get you into the running for a PlayStation 5 game console. And for our other grand prize, an amazing gaming PC from Skytech Gaming, Skytech Gaming Mark 7 custom PC. I'm telling you all, there has never been a better time to get a $25 donation in. And remember that that donation is going directly to Malala Fund. Absolutely. It is going directly to their amazing, amazing cause of creating a world where all girls can learn and lead. Court. Um, you know, I just want to say that it has been an incredible privilege being here this weekend to help you all with prizes and to show all of these things off for you. Um, and, you know, uh, I really, could we get some faith pops in chat? Could we get some love yeah! for court, though? Because <laughs> I think something people don't realize is that so many people are wearing so many hats right now. And uh, it might not be apparent, but court is um, kind of running this marathon. <laughs> 
time. And still has time to pop over to the couch right now and talk about prizes. And not just that, because I told her, you know, hey, Court, just, you know, I'll do the prizes. Just come sit down, hang out with me. It'll be fun. She was like, no, no, no. I want to know all about these prizes. I want to be able to talk about all these prizes. I want to put myself out there as well. And that is, that is just incredible for me. So can we get some love in chat out for Court and for everyone out here working tech and making this event possible? Pretend you are all like I amazing. Can, pretend like I can make a hand heart right now and I'm not covered in prizes. Just pretend. <laughs> there, there we go. go. There I, we go. I will assist. <laughs> And you know what else? You all at home are also amazing for donating yes. and for supporting this event. But this event is not Absolutely over. We not. still have a milestone to beat. This can be and this will be the highest fundraising yes. Frame Fatales event that we have ever had. You all can make a Twitch chat happen, Twitch chat. I want to see it happen. I absolutely do. And we're well on our way. We need $127,266. And I'm seeing the number go up. Continue to go up before I finish this sentence. I dare you. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it has been amazing to be here. I hope that we fly by our donation total as I am continuing to speak and not end this sentence. But, uh, you know, shout outs to everyone in the studio helping make this run as well. To staff who has always supported this event from the very beginning and is going to help continue to make this event even bigger and greater. And sent for teaching me all about prizes and telling me to not worry about it because it's going to be all right. Thank you so much, Court. And uh, just as a reminder, everyone, all the prizes that you've seen. <laughs> well, <laughs> we we got to pop off real quick because we have just Yay! reached that milestone. Court, tell them what that means. That means that this is our personal best for fundraising for Malala Fund for Frey Patals. PB as a speedrunner. PB achieved, right? PB achieved. That's, that's what it's all about. And next run. We're going to crush it again. Mass Effect is going to be amazing. Real quick, just as a reminder, everyone, all the prizes that you've seen throughout the event were uh, sent to us by generous individuals like you. If you're an artist, uh, if you're a craftsperson of any type, if you just know somebody you'd like to commission to send us a prize, please get in touch with us. Our contact information is available on the website, gamesdonequick.com, as well as all of the information that you need to know about the marathon, like what runs are left in the schedule. I'll give you a hint. It's Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect. <laughs> what bid incentives are left in the schedule? And that's actually, we have a Recruit Garrus and Rex uh incentive left. We need about $5,000 for that. I think we're about $1,000 of the way there. Let's make that happen during Mass Effect. And of course, all of the amazing, amazing prizes yeah! that you can win by donating during the marathon. That is going to be it from us. So let's send it back to the front and get ready for some Mass Effect. Welcome back, chat. We have done it. We are at $127,590, meaning this is a P B for Frame Fatales. Let's go. You all are so amazing. I am so excited. This has been absolutely fantastic, and there's still time to go even higher. We have a new incentive open, Recruit Garrus and Rex. It is at $5,000. We are at $600 out of that. Of course, that means in Citadel 1, instead of skipping them, we will be recruiting them if met. Also, our name incentive has been closed, so thank you so much for getting those names in. Speaking of name incentive, I have a $300 donation from Melee Rage. I want to name Shepherd Mikey in honor of my little bro's birthday tomorrow. Well, Melee Rage, I, no spoilers, but I think I think we might be good. We also have Save or Ditch Council open for that. Currently, Council is on their own is winning at $360. Save the Council at $75. Chat, if you know me, you know I like a nice, close bid war race. So if we could get those even, that would be really fun. Which one's it going to be? Council, Save, Ditch, Save, Ditch? Who knows? Let's get those on an even term and, and have it be a close race. I have a $25 donation from Cute Cyndaquil. This has been an amazing event. Let's smash that donation record for a fantastic finale, smiley face, which we did. Thank you so much. I have a $25 donation from Trainer Anade. How are we already so near the end? I'm not crying. You're crying. Thank you for your donation. <laughs> I have a $25 donation from Moose. 
love this marathon, love this cause. Thank you so, so much. Anonymous donates $25. Sorry about that. Anonymous donates $25. There once was a vanguard named Shepard, who from the